are temporary spousal and child support determined in Virginia. This might occur in connection with a case in the Juvenile Domestic Relations Court or in the Circuit Court, a divorce case uh, would be the best example, pending a uh, final hearing on the matter in the court. Temporary support, both spousal support and child support, may be awarded to a party. And what will be used to, what will likely be used to calculate these amounts is a worksheet that uh, combines a calculation of spousal support and child support. Now, the uh, spousal support shall be determined first by the court, and this would be determined usually either by the uh, provision in the Juvenile and Domestic Relations District Court uh, Code section, which is 16.1-178.17.1, a formula of uh, 30-50 or 28-58, 30% of the payor spouse's income minus 50% of the payee spouse's income if they don't have children. If they do have children, uh, children child support will be calculated. It would be 28% of the payor spouse's income minus 58% of the payee spouse's income. So that's one way that it might be determined according to that code section for temporary support in the Juvenile Domestic Relations Court. Now, if it's at the circuit court level, uh, there may be local rules and procedures that are followed that specify uh, a percentage for calculating temporary uh, spousal and child support. Uh, for instance, in the 12th, 13th, and 14th judicial circuits, where I, uh, primarily where I practice in Virginia, which is Henrico County, Chesterfield County, and the city of Richmond. There's a set of rules and procedures that have been adopted by the court, and the formula that's used in those cases is 30-30 uh, without uh, child support and 28-58 uh, when child support will be ordered. So this would be 30% of the gross income of the payor spouse's income minus 30% of the payee spouse's gross income when there are no uh, there's no child support to be determined, or if there is child support to be determined, 28% of the payor spouse's gross income minus 58% of the payee spouse's uh, gross income. And um, this would create uh, the presumptively correct amount of spousal support for temporary spousal support to be ordered. Now, the second step would be taking that spousal support uh, and adjusting it for the amount to be paid from one spouse to, a, to another, uh, you would determine the child support amount to be paid uh, from one parent to the other. I uh, have two other YouTube videos which address uh, how spousal support is determined in Virginia, how child support is determined in Virginia, and I direct your attention to those videos to see in greater depth how those amounts might be calculated. Now the net result of all this is a net child and spousal support amount to be paid by one parent to another. Now this is an example of the combined support worksheet that might be used in uh, hearing to determine temporary spousal support and temporary child support. Look, what you can see in this hypothetical case, which is John Doe versus Mary Doe with one child who's 10 years old, mother makes $2,000 a month, father makes $6,000 a month. Now, um, neither one of them have any adjustments for the support of other children or other adjustments to their uh, gross income. So in this example, this hypothetical, the, that those are the um, adjusted gross incomes of both parties a total income of $8,000. Now we take the uh, father or husband's income first, multiply it by 28% in this case, and we have 28% uh, of that figure is 1680. Uh, now we take the, the mother-wife's gross income and multiply it by 58%, 
and we have 1160 for her. So the net amount of support in this case payable by the uh, husband to the wife is $520. Now with that figure we can then calculate child support. The bottom half of this form uh, shows the hypothetical child support calculation in light of the spousal support to be paid. <clears throat> Again, we repeat the uh, gross incomes of the parties. Now, uh, these uh, percentages appearing below the adjusted gross income for the parties are the percentage of each uh, to the gross income. And, and the difference between this and the top now is the spousal support that's been ordered by the court. We deducted $520, this temporary spousal support, from the father's income. We added that same amount to the mother's income. And obviously the combined support is indifferent, but the income share is different. Now the wife is, uh, produces 31.5% of the monthly gross income. Father, uh, husband produces 68.5%. The uh, child support amount is determined from the schedule that appears in the Virginia Code for this one child with a gross monthly income combined of $8,000. The appropriate support amount is 916. Now added to that would be the additional medical insurance cost that is being paid for that child. This would not be uh, the whole family costs or the father and the child together, it would be that additional amount for the father to cover the child on his policy. This produces a child support need of 1216. And uh, in the next square, you will see that uh, there is the child support obligation depicted of each party, the father of that 1216 is responsible for 833, mother for 383. Now father gets an adjustment because he is the party who is paying the medical insurance to cover this child. That amount that he pays is uh, subtracted from his monthly uh, support obligation to arrive at a support obligation of 533. Now since the mother is the custodian of this child, it's uh, assume that her, her share of child support is being paid through the payment of her rent or the mortgage or uh, clothing, food, the other expenses she has for her household. So she doesn't pay anything to the husband father. The husband father owes child support to her in the amount of 533. Now the bottom line on this form is the net support owed from the father to the mother of $1,053, which is the sum of the guideline spousal support and the adjusted child support amount. This worksheet then produces the bottom line figure of support to be paid. As you can see, the combined support calculations, the mathematical formulas that are used to calculate spousal, temporary spousal and child support are quite complex. These amounts are simply the presumptively correct amount of temporary support. So a party can ask for the judge to adjust these figures to account for actual circumstances that exist at the time of the hearing. You should consult with your attorney to discuss how spousal support and child support might be calculated in your case.